Hey guys, so right now I am playing some good old Kill Confirmed on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and I'm dead tired. I was up on Xbox Live till about like 4.30 this morning because I was having a conversation with a couple of my friends and we were having a really fun time so I decided to stay on longer than I planned to and um, I actually played Minecraft for the first time, yeah. Uh, we were trying to, they were trying to get me to play Minecraft for a while, so I just said, oh yeah, whatever. So I went to go and get the game, and basically what happened was I didn't have the money uh, on my live account to get the full game, so I just played the trial until um, the time period was um, up. But um, I actually had a lot of fun playing Minecraft. Anyways, that's not what I came online to talk about. <laughs> this is distracting. Anyways, I came online to quickly discuss a film that I saw recently. Uh, I saw it on Valentine's Day, and the only really, like... It wasn't annoying, but the only, like, awkward part was it was literally me in the theater, surrounded by a bunch of couples. And before I continue, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I understand that it's publicized to be this huge romantic occasion for couples to get together and to, like, treat the girl. Oh, I killed him. Cool. <laughs> that sounds bad. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, like, it publicized this huge romantic occasion, you know, like, flowers and chocolates and, like, pulling out all the guns and, you know. Um, I just see it as another day. That's just me, though. Like, pe people can do whatever they wish on Valentine's Day. I just see it as another day. It's not technically a holiday, so I just, I don't see it as a big day. I see it as any other day. But anyways, the film that I saw, let's get to that. The film that I saw was Silver Linings Playbook. And ever since I heard that this film was coming out, I, I wanted to see it. I didn't care um, if I was going alone. I didn't care who I was going with. I just really, really wanted to see this film. Like, it was, I, I was highly anticipating this film. And when I saw it, I have to say that it did exceed all my expectations. It was so good. The acting was awesome. Jennifer Lawrence is just a great actress to begin with, which is just... I love Jennifer Lawrence so much. Um, Bradley Cooper was awesome too. He's really hot. Um, uh, I guess I'll just give a quick synopsis of the film because I really don't want to spoil it for other people who haven't seen it yet. Um, basically, the film is about this man called Pat who was, I, I'm not going to say mental institution, but basically in like an anger management facility, uh, dealing with anger management, and he just got out and he is trying to turn his life around. Um, he wants to get back together with his wife because she uh, hasn't been in contact with him since he's been in the uh, institution, and he just really wants to get his life together. So he... Meet, he goes to a dinner with one of his friends and he meets this girl named Tiffany. And Tiffany is a recovering, I believe a recovering sex addict. That, that's kind of what they, they made her out to be, but anyways. Um, she starts to become like attracted to Pat, not like romantically obviously, but like friend-wise. And just things start changing for him. A lot of, um, he he starts seeing a lot of things differently and seeing Tiffany differently and just many things happen. I can't say anything more because I think I've already covered everything. Um, I love this film and I think that it's a great film for anybody who is looking for a new fresh perspective. I think that's who who should watch this movie. I'm not forcing anybody to watch this movie, I'm just saying this movie was like beautiful. Like cinematic masterpiece beautiful. Alright guys, peace. I love you all. Live, love, love. Have a good day or night depending on when you watch this video. Enjoy the sun if it's sunny in your area and um, I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go um, play some more Cal Confirmed. Bye now.